Steve, we're live from the TireRack.com studios. Our next guest, former NFL quarterback, now Fox Sports Radio NFL analyst, friend of the show, Sean King. What's up, man? Sean. Man, the odd couple, man. I miss you guys. Glad to hear you guys back together. Man, I'm well, so excited. Well, it's only Football for a week. I know. It's only one it's more only week. One more My week. last day is next Friday. Chris can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it that way. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, let's, Sean, let's get to last night's game, obviously. What were your overall thoughts? Rob and I have both picked the Ravens to win the Super Bowl. Uh, should we be discouraged uh, from what we saw last night? And what are your thoughts? Absolutely. The Ravens look slow <laughs> in space. And that's a bad deficiency. If you notice, they were really struggling to tackle the chief skill players in space. Outside of Zay Flowers, and when Lamar ran the ball, they didn't really have guys that could make you miss in space. I know Isaiah likely made some plays, and he's going to be a good tight end, but I think they got an issue moving forward, especially if they're not going to play old-school Ravens football. I thought the addition of Derrick Henry meant that he was going to get 20-plus carries. They were going to ground and pound, play field position, you know, try and create explosives in the play action, get a uh, pass game, and that just didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, I, what do you – I think they got to use – they have to find a way to maximize Lamar and Derrick Henry together. It's only one Do you game. think some of that is because they usually aren't behind and you usually don't trail in games. Do you think some of that is because they're trailing – they usually trail the Chiefs whenever they play, that they get away <laughs> from the run? I mean, you know, it is, it is what it is. Do you think that takes them away from the run? My thing is you're only trailing by 10 points or 7 points you can remain committed to the run. Right. Game's not out of reach at that point. I, I, you, know, you know what happened last night as well, and this is something that teams really have to, I think, take into account. Lamar Jackson's not an effective enough passer to not take snaps in the preseason. He looks hmm. very uncomfortable in the pocket. He oh, guys won throw, two MVPs, really? Yeah, yeah, right. And, and it's crazy because and if he gets game, hurt in the, if he gets hurt in the preseason, your season's over. I just yeah, I, but, I disagree with you, Sean, on that. Well, I, well, well, I don't know how you can well, put him out there. I don't. Well, here, here's here's where I'm going to push back. He's a dynamic athlete. He's still a work in progress as a pure quarterback. And if you saw how uncomfortable he was in the pocket, you know, running around, acting like it was pressure when it wasn't pressure, how many times did you see him drop back in rhythm, throw the ball on time with anticipation? That comes from live reps. And he looked like a guy that hadn't had live reps last night, and that's something that they're going to have to address. And they still almost before. tied the game at the end. Well, I mean, if almost you know one game. No, no, hell, no, no. My point is, my point is that that they weren't out of the game, and that and there were well, some still, things. They're still a good team. They're, still they're a good very team. good Nobody team. I think they. I, I think Sean. They looked like the two best teams in the league last night to me, especially it's when you take into consideration what we saw last year. I think it's hard to say that until you see some of the other teams and how they progress. I'm big on the Texans, see how the Lions come back. You know, what do the Niners look like? Like, I, I will admit, I mean, it was a good football game outside of the fact that I still, for the life of me, don't understand why the broadcast never addressed the fact that the refs are blatantly cheating. If mm. you are going to, if you're going to call the Ravens tackles for illegal yep. formation on that opening drive, 74 from the Chiefs was illegal the rest of the game when they never called it once. He was there on foot in the backfield. I don't understand remember he it got, either, is that, right. That's Jerron Taylor, 74? Yes. I mean, remember, he, he got lying. called for that a lot last year. Yeah, and, and it was unbelievable. I was shocked that Collinsworth and them didn't bring it up and address it. And, I mean, I've never seen anything as blatant as that in my life. And they did it to themselves. That first drive of the game, they came out like they got the call from the league. Listen, this is something we're going to be a stickler about. Let's right. make sure that we emphasize it in game one. But they only did it to the Ravens. Yeah. Was- what would you think about, I mean, Lamar, is, he had a great game running the football, but he won't last. The way he was running, he was trying to run people over. Well, I don't, I don't understand. I think he maybe wanted to win. A lot of people have said maybe just wanted to win the game so badly. It's the Chiefs. He won revenge from last year that he was doing that. But I, they got to be talking to him about, look, you cannot, but he had you cannot be doing running that, like Chris, that. Right? I he know, but he that. didn't stop last yeah. night. 
Well, he can't ever get away from running because that's part of what makes him no, great. No, no, I agree. No, but I'm saying people. running into people. Right. Like, he, he's, you know? He's, 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 what it is, is, it's a crutch for him. And here's what I mean by that. He's uncomfortable right now throwing the ball in rhythm from the pocket. So in order to make up for that uncomfortableness, I'm going to run the ball because I know I'm great at that. Uh, I'm telling you, if you guys ever get the chance to watch the All-22, go back and look at every one of Lamar's non-designed runs. Very rarely was it real pressure. No, he was was looking to run last night. And he said he lost weight. Well, I don't know if he pan- he lost weight so he could be faster and run more. Yeah, see, I don't believe I don't believe that. I think Lamar is in the fashion. He wants to look different in his clothes. I mean, you've never seen <laughs> Lamar Jackson play and like look at him. It's like he need to lose weight. Like when when has that ever been an issue? He with Lamar? pointed. I, I'll give you a time when they played the Chiefs last year in the championship game, and he had the twenty one yard run. He didn't even try to run away from Jan- Legereus Sneed. He looked back. He at was him. right. He kept looking back, almost trying to stiff arm. And he pointed out that he didn't feel like he was as fast as he used to be on the field because of the weight gain. All right, let, let's so do let, this. Let me, let, me, let me give a quick counter-argument to why he didn't look as fast. It's because in week one against the Chiefs, he's running the ball 16 times for 100-plus yards, and he's not sliding, and he's running into people. And what happens is that those those hits, they accumulate. Right. Like one week it's your elbow, next week it's your shoulder, then it's your knee, then it's your shin. And by the time you get to the playoffs, you're beat up. Right. Hey, That's why real, you don't need to be running. Like real that. quick, last one. Uh, the Eagles, have they – what they lose? Six of their last seven last year, uh, finished the season with a whimper. What are your expectations for the Eagles this year? I, I'm just going to watch this game. I'm not going in with any pre – existing ideas because I want to see Kellen Moore's impact on Jalen Hurts. Also, the Eagles aren't being talked about, but they added Saquon Barkley and Jahan Dotson to an already talented group of skilled players. Uh, people talk about the slide, but weren't they 10-0 and before the yes, slide? Yes, but they even yeah, but remember they kept talking about how they weren't playing well. Yeah, even, even, when, they, even right. when they were 10-0, it wasn't that impressive. It wasn't. So, so, so to me, they're the most likely team to get back to – are regressed to where they were before, which is the Super Bowl the year before. Jalen Hurts played his best game in a loss to Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. So that's what I'm looking for. How, how, how The addition of Kellen Moore, how has it impacted Jalen Hurts' growth at the quarterback position? I, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't know who, I don't really care who wins tonight. I'm looking forward to a good game. But I have pack, picked the Packers to reach the Super Bowl this year. Do you, what do you think of their chances of doing that? I think the Packers have the best combination of talent, age, uh, contractual situation of any team in football. When you look at their key pieces, they're all young guys, and they've already paid the quarterback. They don't have to pay uh, Christian Watson yet, or Jaden Reed, or Romeo Doves, or Dontavian Wicks. They got the two tight ends, Tucker Craft and uh, Musgrave. They added Josh Jacobs uh, uh, every down back. Can you win a Super Bowl by paying the quarterback, or you can't? You can't? I mean, it's the Chiefs are going for three in a row, right? They paid their guy five hundred million, and also Matt, Matt Stafford got paid. They they did yeah. it. They won a Super Bowl. I I don't See, know if it's. It, I, I, so let, let me let me answer that question and put context on it. When you pay a quarterback worth being paid that amount of money, you can absolutely win a Super Bowl. Okay. When you pay the right. quarterback just because that's what everybody pe- else is right. getting, you can't. Yeah, but sometimes people think that it's just if you don't have to pay the quarterback, you win, and I, I just don't agree with that. I think yeah, that's, I, I, I think you're right there, Rob. Yeah. I agree with All Rob. Right. What the hell is going I on? I know uh, there's something wrong in the water, <laughs> no doubt about it. That's yeah, all, right. man. Hey, man. Congrats, guys, on a great run, man. You guys were awesome. You. I, Thank you, brother. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All, all right. right.